Hi, I'm Corey Ballard, Chief Meteorologist here at Channel Vision Forward, and we are standing in front of our Vision Forward weather map, and we've got a lot of weather going on. We've got cold fronts up here in the north, we've got warm fronts down here in the south, and they're gonna tech connect right here in the Midwest and cause us some crazy weather that we experience in the spring. Stick to this channel for any important weather alerts. Now back to you, Corey. Thanks, Corey. Welcome all back to another Tech Connect. Today, we are taking a look at a way to make your thermostat smarter. Well, I should not say your thermostat. We're actually looking at the Ecobee line of smart thermostats. That's gonna allow you to be able to use either your smartphone or an Alexa to be able to control all of the things that you'd want to be able to control on a thermostat. Stick with us and let's take a look. For those that are familiar with our channel, you know that I love smart home technology. And you might think, oh, that's kind of complicated. I don't want to get into that. But stick with me today because I think you're going to enjoy learning about smart thermostats and how they can make your life easier and more accessible. As I mentioned in the intro, we are looking at the Ecobee line of thermostats. There is a number of smart thermostats out there. And really at the end of the day, what you wanna make sure is that it works with Alexa. That's gonna be your biggest thing that you're gonna to wanna to make sure. So the Ecobee line of thermostats, they've got a few different ones, but really at the end of the day, we are looking at a thermostat that will replace the thermostat you currently have. Now this is where you might want to get some assistance to have this thermostat installed. Uh, typically people who are comfortable with some basic electrical work or a, a handyman or even getting over a, uh, come, having somebody come over that does heating and cooling can absolutely install that thermostat for you, no issues. Once that thermostat is set up and installed, you can then get it configured. So now it's going to work via a smartphone app and Alexa. And we're gonna be looking at both of those today. So some of that first part's a little bit complicated, but once that's all done, your hands off at that point and you don't have to worry about uh, any of that complicated stuff. Let's first take a look at the smartphone access. I'm going to be doing uh, using an iPhone here with voiceover. That is my preference, but it is accessible on Android with TalkBack, so no worries there. Launch Ecobee. Ecobee. Records, I'm tab, two of three. Humidity, 60%. All right, I've now got the main Ecobee app open here. And on this main screen, I'm going to get a number of important pieces of information that's going to allow me to get more information about my thermostat and how my house is. So let's just kind of swipe through and see what we get. Humidity 60%. First of all, I can see that it's 61% humidity in my house. Cool button, pop up button. My current mode is cool. 72 degrees. That's telling me that it's currently 72 degrees in my house. Desired temperature, 76 degrees. And then I can see what my desired temperature or what my thermostat is set to 76 degrees. So here on this main screen, I get all that kind of information that allows me to better make decisions on what I'd like to do to control the temperature in my home. All right, now we've got information, but now we wanna make some changes. I think uh, that it is currently too cold in my house and I wanna bring that temperature up a little bit, or maybe I wanna change it and just turn the air off altogether. First, let's look at changing the mode of our thermostat. I'm gonna swipe until I hear that cool button. Humidity 60%. Cool, button, pop-up button. All right, so we hear voiceover saying it's a pop-up button. That means we've got some options. So let's go in and take a look at them. Heat button. I can change it to heat. Selected, cool, button. I already see that cool is selected. 
Select it. Dismiss context menu. Dismiss context menu. All right, that was the last. So there must have been something before heat. So let's swipe back and take a look. Off button. Ah, there's that off button. I'm going to go ahead and double tap. Menu. Button. All right, now let's check and make sure that it turned off the thermostat. Humidity 60%. Current mode off button. Pop Perfect. Button. So now we've been able to change our thermostat. Now, we're going to need to put our thermostat back on because obviously if we want to change the temperature, there's nothing to change now because we have our mode set to off. So I'm going to go back in and set this to cool so we can actually change the thermostat temperature. Heat button, cool button. 72 degrees, humidity 60%. All right, now that we've got our thermostat back into cool mode, let's go and check two things. Number one, what's the current temperature? And number two, let's change that desired uh, temperature of the house. Cool, button, 72 degrees. All right, so we know it's 72. Desired temperature, 76 degrees. And let's make this 78. Button, back. So I went ahead and double tapped. Now I'm gonna swipe over to the temperature. Cooling to 76 degrees, adjustable. And I'm gonna swipe up because it's adjustable to make it warmer, swipe down to make it cooler. We, since we wanna to go to 78, let's swipe up. 77 degrees, 78 degrees. There we go, we're set to 78, and now I'll just swipe back to the left to the back button. Button, back. Button, person. Perfect. Now we've changed our temperature in the home to 78 degrees. There's one last thing you might want to be able to control, and that is the fan. Sometimes you might have your thermostat set to off, but you want to get some airflow going. And so you want to turn on that fan. The way we do that is first we're going to swipe on this main screen to the name of our thermostat. Mine's called thermostat. Button. First, my home. Button. Pop thermostat. And I'll double tap. 72 degrees. Now this has opened up some more in for, uh, more options. I'm looking for the quick changes. Humidity 60 per desired temperature set duration until 9 p.m. Cancel current hold. Weather sunny, but current mode cool. Button quick changes. Button. Double tap. Quick changes. Heading. And let's look for fan. Button close. Comfort setting hold. At comfort setting. Set manual hold. Fan settings. Heading. Fan. Auto. Zero minutes slash HR. Set fan hold button. And I'll double button. tap. 15 minutes button. Now on this screen, I can decide how long I want the fan to go for. There's a number of options, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, uh, two hours and so forth. Let's choose indefinite. Indefinite button. Double tap. Now our fan is on and it's on until I go back into that same area and turn it to off. All right, now you might be thinking to yourself, hey, Corey, this looks really cool, but to be honest, I don't wanna mess around with a smartphone. No worries, because your Amazon Echo, or your A, I don't wanna say it in case ours is listening, it can do everything, well, pretty much everything that I just showed on that smartphone app, which means you could have somebody set it up for you on their smartphone, especially if they're already in your home, and then you can just use your Amazon Echo to do most of the things you'd wanna do with a thermostat to make it even more simple. First, let's find out what the uh, current temperature in my home is. Now we can do this in a couple ways. Number one, we can say, Alexa, what's the temperature inside? The average temperature of the home is 73 degrees. Now you hear mine say the average temperature. Hold on to the outro today because you'll learn why it's saying average. But I, if I know the name of my thermostat, which mine just happens to be thermostat, I could also say, Alexa, what's the thermostat set to? The AC is set to 78. Now, this tells us two different things, right? First, we found out what the temperature is inside, but then we said, what is the thermostat set to, to find out what it's currently set to. Those are two different things. Now, if I want to change the thermostat, let's say it's 78 right now, my wife may be home from work in a little while. She probably doesn't want it 78 degrees. Let's put it, bring it back down to 75. Alexa, set the thermostat to 75 degrees. 
the AC is set to 75. Now we're also hearing that the AC, so that is telling us what mode it's currently in as well. If the mode was set to heat, then it obviously, obviously would have said the heat is set to 75 degrees. So with my voice, I'm able to set that thermostat. Let's say I decide I wanna change the mode. I don't want it in AC anymore. Uh, I want it off. I could say, Alexa, set the thermostat mode to off. It's off. Now it's changed my mode to off. Now I better make it back to cool. Again, I don't think my wife would be very happy to come home to a hot house. Alexa, set the thermostat mode to cool. It's set to cool. So now with my voice, I'm able to switch it right back into air conditioned mode. So again, if you're not comfortable with a smartphone or if you're like me, sometimes you just don't wanna pull out your smartphone, but you've got an Amazon Echo device near you, you're able to use your voice to change and uh, make your home nice and comfortable. All right, this was a smart thermostat and I hope from this video, you can see how it could make your life easier and give you access to a device that you potentially have issues or troubles accessing now. As I mentioned, we looked at the Ecobee today because that's what I've picked out, but man, there is a number of different ones out there. So uh, a smart thermostat can run you anywhere from maybe $75 up to a couple hundred. Some of that really depends on the brand you get and how many different features they are. I like Ecobee. The app is, is pretty much accessible. Reliability is great, so I've stuck with it. Amazon Basics, they have their own line too, and those are pretty good. Uh, so I'd recommend taking a look at those. Some of the features we didn't look at today, at least with the Ecobee, are the ability to add some extra sensors around your house. Little battery operated thing, little devices you can put in rooms, and that helps your thermostat get a better idea of what the overall temperature is in your home to help make decisions. We also didn't look at some of their comfort settings. You're able to set comfort settings for heat and cool, for sleep mode, and that just helps you uh, kind of better use your thermostat. This thermostat does have scheduling as well, where you can set up a specific schedule so that certain days and times of the day you can have heat come on cool. We didn't cover that in here, but if that's something you're interested, please throw it down in the comments and we can make a more advanced video covering some of those things. So, should you get one? Well, that is completely up to you, but I can tell you that the investment isn't too bad. Like I said, $7,500, $75 to a couple hundred dollars to get that thermostat. Getting it installed, it can take somebody absolutely less than an hour to do. As I mentioned, if somebody's comfortable with some very basic wiring, it's really kind of matching colors together, they'll be able to get that thermostat in in less than an hour easily. So if you think that's worth the investment of what you saw today, then I would definitely recommend going ahead with it. We've got a lot going on here at Vision Forward. I would love to know, are you already using a smart thermostat? If you are, throw it down in the comment box. Let me know what brand you're using. What kind of things are you doing with the thermostat that maybe I didn't cover today? Make sure the rest of the community gets an idea of how a thermostat could make their life easier. Or if there's any other smart home tech you want us to show or highlight, please throw that down in there too. If I don't already have it, it might be an excuse for me to get something new. We've got a live Tech Connect that we do every other Thursday. Our most recent one was on May 22nd, where we sat down with Rachel from Humanware to look at their new Odyssey device and the AI that they've added to it. So make sure to go back on our channel and take a look at that. We'll have some really awesome new Tech Connect Live videos and new uh, produced videos coming, so always stay tuned to our channel. Make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell so that you don't miss anything we're doing. We also have an LMS. You might say, what the heck is an LMS, Corey? Well, it is a learning management system. Really, it's a place for you to go to get free ACVREP credits 
We've got a number of different webinars on that platform that you can access completely free. And if you want that ACVREP credit, it's there for you to take a shiny little certificate just for you. We also have a podcast and that is a podcast audio only of our Tech Connect Live. So if you would prefer to just catch those Tech Connect Lives after the fact, go ahead and open up your podcast app of choice, do a search for Vision Forward Tech Connect, and you'll absolutely be able to find that podcast and go ahead and subscribe. That would really help us out. We would appreciate it. We've got a lot going on, like I said, so make sure that you stay tuned to our channel because we've got good information coming just for you. Hi, I'm Corey Ballard, Chief Meteorologist here at Channel Vision Forward, and you can see we have got crazy weather going on today. Oh, I forgot to breathe.